What's going on YouTube? I'm Jason Carver. I'm a certified personal trainer and natural bodybuilder from Tucson, Arizona. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my pole workout routine number one. Make sure to stick around through the whole thing because I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks that I use when I'm trying to work out and build some muscle. Make sure to subscribe too because over the next couple weeks, I'm going to be giving you my whole workout routine and hit that bell notification so that you can see when those videos come out. All right, let's get to it. Welcome back everybody. So the first exercise we're gonna be doing is a T-bar row. If you don't have a T-bar, you could definitely do a barbell row instead. Um, what I want to do with each repetition is I wanna have an end point. So with each rep, I'm gonna be trying to bring my wrist or that, uh, that plate to my chest here. That way I know and I can definitively count each repetition. And then next week, I'm going to try to beat those reps or I'm going to try to do a little bit more weight with each repetition. Um, I'm going to really refrain from doing kind of half reps or partial reps because those are just harder to count and replicate. You know, how many real full reps did I get? And how many half reps did I get when I'm doing it next week and then the week after that? So I'm just going to be doing just the straight reps. And then once I can't get it up to my chest anymore, then I'm done right there. So that's that's the end of the set. Okay, so let's get to it. So another thing you'll notice is I'm using those 25s there. They're gonna help, they're gonna give you a greater range of motion than a 45 will because you can bring your elbows back farther than you could if you were using a 45. You'd have to stop right here. I can bring my elbows back way farther with a 25 so I can get a better contraction in my back which will be more muscle growth too. Also, the ladies love it when you use 25s. That's how I met my wife. She saw me T-bar rowing right there across the gym had like 10 of those puppies on, done deal from there. I just finished up with the T-bar rows on there. I was aiming for eight to 10. I got nine, nine, nine on there. So I guess right in the middle, that works. Now the next exercise we're gonna be doing is lat pull downs. Uh, so let's go over there. For the lat pull down, we're gonna use the close grip and same thing, we're gonna try to get like an end point with each rep. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be pulling down and trying to hit the very top of my chest right here with each rep. And then once I can't get a rep anymore, then I know that set's done. Uh, so I'm gonna aim with this one. I'm gonna try to get about 10 with each set and then three sets. Let's get it. Another thing with the lat pull down is you wanna go nice and slow on the eccentric on the way back up with this one. I see way too many people just fly through it and they completely negate that eccentric part. So I'm trying to come down 
and then go twice as slow on the way up. no idea how many reps that happened that was but that happens a lot where i don't really count how many reps it was i just kind of go and i kind of have a i don't know just a feeling of a rep range that i'm hitting i feel like that one was like maybe nine i don't know maybe you can tell me in the comments how many reps that actually was uh now i'm gonna take like a minute rest or so i'm not trying to really have short rest periods uh, cause I'm still breathing pretty heavy. I want to make sure that I can put everything into that next set and that'll be the last one. That'll be the third. <sighs> All right. So let's get it. rest period. Exercise number three now. Actually, I think that's three in sign language. My wife is trying to teach me sign language, and I think it's that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm really tired right now. All right, so the next exercise is going to be dumbbell pullovers absolutely one of my favorite exercises for the lats i really feel the lats a whole heck of a lot more when i do a dumbbell pullover versus uh, like a straight arm pullover or pull down whatever you want to call that thing all right so let's get after it So once again, we're gonna aim for like 10 reps on that one and about three sets worth. You should really feel a big stretch in your lats. And you can see with that one, I don't come all the way up to my chest, which I think is a little bit more for your pecs. I try to keep it all in the lats. So I'm really trying to concentrate on my lats, feel the stretch. And then as I feel those lats start to disengage or just to where I don't feel them as much, then I'm going back down again. Um, there are some people that get like their shoulders don't feel good with this exercise uh, then in that case you might want to try the cable one where you're just standing up probably a lot easier on your shoulders I would guess um, but this one feels good for me my lats feel it so I like this one exercise number four is going to be the barbell shrug we all have those exercises that we really don't like for me, it's definitely any type of shrugging. Like, I don't know. That's why I got like these tiny ass little traps. So we're doing barbell shrugs in this program. Um, so we can stop back in like a little and actually grow some traps. So here we go. Let me know if 
you have any tricks or any really good trap exercises because uh, my traps suck. And let me know if you always make stupid faces when you're shrugging. next exercise we're gonna do a face pull when you do a face pull what we're gonna do for a face pull is we're gonna get the rope we're gonna take it all the way to the top so you want it above your head and then when we pull back you're gonna think about pulling your forearms back almost like you're hitting a like a front double bicep or a rear double bicep for you bodybuilders um, so we're gonna come high pull back and that's just gonna fry your upper back rear delts little traps all right let's get it So with this one, you're aiming for 12, and you're really trying to get this little metal piece to hit your face, hence the face pull. up everything that we're doing for the back now we're going to get into biceps exercise number one is going to be the hammer curl and we're just going to be coming straight up with it right to where that dumbbell is going to like kind of hit your front deltoid your shoulder and that's going to be our end point so with this one we'll be able to really count each rep and of course we go all the way down unless you got like some elbow issues where it hurts to go all the way down we want to utilize that full range of motion here your elbow is gonna be, here, let me see if I can get in the, the mirror. Your elbow is gonna be slightly in front of you, which you don't wanna do, bring it back like that because then it becomes kind of like a drag curl, which is a completely different exercise. All right, so elbow in front a little bit. exercise concentration curls this one are really trying to squeeze flex the hell out of the bicep at the top go down nice and slow really trying to concentrate on the curl
Uh, all right, that's a wrap everybody. If you like this video, please leave it a like so that YouTube will boost my ratings. And if you wanna see the rest of my program, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And go drink a protein shake. See you in the next one.